Did these Eternals leaks. This is for the new Marvel film that's coming out in November. The Eternals believe they have been chosen by the Celestials to defend humanity from the Deviants. The Eternals sell the power cosmic, which extends their lives and grants them superpowers. They build Babylon River amongst its people, but it's destroyed by the Deviants. After defeating the Deviants in Babylon, the Eternals adopt human identities go to separate ways. On present day, Cersei's living in London with her boyfriend. She can manipulate mad deviates, attack Cersei and Dane, but Icarus and Spray rescue them. Icarus can fire optic, optic backs and sub fight can create illusions. Icarus and Cersei were lovers, but Icarus ended up ended their relationship. Spite and Cersei are out of close bond. Spite is confirmed to be swarm of a child. Cersei, Icarus, and Spite visit the spiritual reader Azak, who can heal people's injuries in her ranch in Montana, but she has been murdered. Azak's device can communicate with Celestials, transfers to Cersei. See, Icarus blames the Deviants and decides to reassemble the Eternals to fight them. They both woke, they all woke Vina and Gilgamesh, with Vina Eskai on Australia at the Fina attack the uh, other scenery at random. Fina can conjure energy and weapons. Gilgamesh can form an energy armor around himself. Gilgamesh is secretly in love with Fina. Fastos is an inventor of superhuman intelligence with her child, husband, and child. His husband and child in Chicago. Kingo is a bywood starter who can fight any projectile. He brings his personal existence everywhere. Mercury is a speed stood up within the eternal spaceship and spends his days according to his present. Derg is a telepath that's losing with the humanity, creating a village in the Amazon rainforest to prove that the eternals will use the power of the force humanity to be better. Yeah. The deviants attack the other villagers, the Mass sacrifices himself, causing the other suspect Zug might be a traitor. The Deviants are led by Safety of the Crow, who grants me Celestials' ride to the Eternals. Regrouping the eight axes rants, the Eternals wanted Celestials feed plants with eggs, with the destroyed plants that they had. The Celestials created Deviants to protect the egg, but when they went rogue, so they created the Eternals to fight them and program them with false memories. Once the Eternal plants are destroyed, the Eternals' memories are reset and are sent to a new planet to start the cycle anew. Fina retained their memories at the last cycle, and basically they thought they wanted to stop the cycle. The Eternals decide to challenge the Celestials by saving Earth, whose egg is about to hatch. Fastos creates the Unimind with a device that allows him to harness out of his power as well. The plan is for the Drug Unimind to send a new board Celestial from her back to sleep. Icarus and Sprite object to betraying the mission. Cersei discovers that Icarus and Adak knew the truth and they killed him, of course, as well. The Eternals go to the Indian Ocean for a turmoil or merge. Icarus and Sprite attempt to stop them but would wound Drug. The Deviants attack, but the Eternals managed to defeat them. Drew can no longer use the Uni Mind as well. Well, and basically they turn to a stone, saving the world. They turn the world into stone, saving the world. Cersei forgives Spite and uses the Uni Mind to remove her powers, allowing Spite to aid while Icarus flies into the sun. The rest seek the Celestials to end the cycle of destruction, while Cersei, King of the stay on Earth to defend it. In the post credit mid credit scene, they fight the Ebony Blade. post credit scene, Star Fox and Pip the Troll arrive on Earth. And yet, that's basically about these new Eternal Weeks. It is basically the same as the other weeks as well. So that's basically about this video. Goodbye.